Hello Habs fans, welcome back to this week's edition of the Habs Fan Forum. I'm Ben Danku, and here at the Habs Fan Forum, this is where us fans get to have our voices heard. I'm actually coming at you from the heart of Montreal in the Fairmount, uh, right beside the Center Bell, near uh, this beautiful view. Um, this whole experience has just been surreal. I'm going to take you through a little bit of my day on Friday as I arrive in Montreal, I go through the city, um, just some of the excitement, the city was alive, getting in line, sitting down, walking into that vibe, take you through some of the play-by-play -play of what me as a fan was experiencing when I landed in the Bell Center. First, proudly a part of Rocket Sports Media and affiliated with the Hockey Podcast Network, we are actually sponsored by DraftKings. And if you head to their free-to-play NBA playoff section, you can win up to $25,000 free by using the promo code THPN. So wouldn't that be nice getting some free cash? All right, by now your emotions have probably settled down from that wild Friday night. Unfortunately, the Habs let us down. That was... A disappointing game that uh, just exposed all the flaws of this team. They did not bounce back from that game, too, where we thought they really showed what they could do and unfortunately didn't come out with the win. On Friday night, game three, the Tampa Bay Lightning took it to them, and I was there to watch the whole thing. So, uh, with no further ado, check out this fun little montage. <laughs> Waiting in the hotel room in anticipation. Little game day break, sit by the window, taking the view. The city is alive. It's nice just walking around and being surrounded by my Habs fans. Feeling good right now. All right, here at the Fairmont, landed in Montreal, we're ready to go. Look who's staying in the hotel. It looks like I gotta find out what floor they're on. Woo! Staff shuttle getting ready for game. I wonder if we'll see anyone come out. Outside right now. The brother here. Let's go half. There it is. Just starting right here. In line. Finally about to enter. Ready to go. devastating loss on Friday night have hopefully calmed down just a little bit and going into game four you're ramped up and hoping that this team can push this series and at least take a game at home so let me take you through the thoughts remind you of how I was feeling on my awesome game day before we jump into game four of course so while I was living up one of my dreams of attending a Stanley Cup final game in Montreal of course at the center bell did not end on the highest note. Still had an amazing day and all of the energy and ups and downs of the day were just, I'll remember that memory and cherish it for a lifetime and hopefully 
I'll have more of those in the future. It was, of course, a lot of the same old story. The Habs defense just got outplayed. And it really starts with the deployment by the coach of that third pairing and the players in that third pairing, Gustafson, Merrill. Petrie had an awful game. I think he might have been... It was just everything he did seemed to not really work out for the team. Um, that 4-5-6 just... You can't win a... You won't win a Stanley Cup final game deploying it like that. And that really comes down to, yes, the execution on the ice by the players, but also got to share the blame with the coaches and how they've been deploying that defense. And it really starts with the defense and builds out. Like, you know, I know at some point the, the forwards weren't finishing, but as a lot of times they're trailing in the game, down 4-1, down 2-1, down 2 nothing, etc. Like, these are back-breaking goals against that really can kill the momentum. And I will say, I was super excited that the crowd in Montreal was not having it. And even after every goal, even when it really didn't seem that this game tide was going in our favor as fans, they still were cheering on Carey Price, were, were cheering on this team, and uh, trying to give them that energy to keep going. So uh, that was really fun to see, and it was really great to be around that crowd. And myself, my voice is actually really raw right now from yelling and screaming so much which was a ton of fun so that's it for this week's edition of the Habs Fan Forum thank you very much for watching of course like down below tell your friends share this video subscribe for more content you can actually tweet us at Montreal underscore forum any questions or comments and you can reach out to all Habs and follow all Habs for the best Montreal Canadiens coverage all right, once again, thanks again for watching. I'm Ben Danky, and of course, from the Fairmount in Montreal, Go Habs Go, baby!